So guys, something really incredible is starting to happen. It looks like Tesla is preparing to finally update the old autopilot software with better visualizations as well as allowing for third party apps to be integrated right within the Tesla UI. We've been asking for this for many years now and it looks like now is the first time we're going to be experiencing it. Over the past few years, Tesla has partnered with various Chinese providers to bring exclusive features and apps tailored to the local markets. These include popular social media and entertainment platforms such as Weibo, Mango TV, WeChat, Billy Billy, and so much more. In the 2023 summer update, Tesla introduced a full handwriting recognition seamlessly integrated across the entire platform. This feature lets owners write letters directly on the screen, which the system then converts it into the closest matching Chinese character, simplifying the overall user experience. Added to this, just months later, Tesla began upgrading the in-car voice assistant to one that could respond and even talk back without pressing any button on the steering wheel. Owners could ask questions, adjust vehicle functions, and interact naturally as if speaking to another passenger. This came nearly a year and a half before Grok was introduced to Tesla vehicles, and till today, it still surpassed Grok's early capabilities with deep integration into the car functions. But of course, then comes the most exclusive feature to the Chinese market. This was the active 3D mapping system that Tesla had pushed to vehicles within the country. In partnership with Baidu Mapping Services, Tesla delivered ultra high definition routing and visualizations fully integrated with Chinese local traffic systems. This allows vehicles to receive real-time construction and traffic updates from across the city while also incorporating traffic light data, giving drivers a countdown timer for each signal directly on the navigation display. Now moving forward to today, another exclusive update is set to arrive for Tesla vehicles in China, one that can completely change the user interface and in-car entertainment experience. Recently spotted by Green The Only, he shared on X references to the latest software codes pointing to a new super app soon to be added to Tesla vehicles. Developed by ByteDance, the company behind TikTok, the app called Voico version 3.0 is built specifically for in-vehicle environments. It combines audio features, TikTok-style shorts, which they call watermelon videos, and other media entertainment tools aiming to create an engaging yet safer experience while driving. The interface can expand to full screen, taking over the main UI, which key details such as speedometer and navigation being displayed as overlays. Tesla plans to roll this out in the coming weeks to all owners in China, with Green confirming that both Intel and AMD vehicles will be supported and receiving this update. In another discovery by Green the Only, references in the latest 2025.20 software update for AMD equipped in Model S and Model X points to a shift from Godot to Unreal Engine for visualization systems. Green noted that at first he didn't spot any major changes, but upon closer inspection, it became clear that Tesla is beginning to integrate Unreal Engine based autopilot visuals. The new binaries has been confirmed to already be shipping with firmware 2025.20 currently limited to AMD Ryzen based vehicles and compatible with both hardware 4 and hardware 3 vehicles. Through testing, Green was able to get it running on an older hardware 3 vehicle, but since it was an older release, he didn't notice many significant differences. But as the system fully transitions over to Unreal Engine, similar to what we see on high-end gaming graphics, we can expect more detail, higher quality visuals in every aspect of autopilot. And to give an example and an idea of what this could eventually look like, a Grok render prompted by Ian Smith and Joseph on X showcases a concept that might be close to the final results. Both of these shows a car in extreme high quality looking very realistic as if it came out of a gaming PC. So there we have it guys. This is the first real glance at what we can expect with the new autopilot visuals as well as third party support apps in the future. This is going to completely change the overall in-car experience. Unfortunately though, starting with the super app, of course this is locked down to the Chinese market just as they do for every other release. But for the Unreal Engine and the Autopilot FSD visuals, this is going to be an amazing experience. Everything you're going to see from a high-end gaming PC is now going to be right in your car. Your car is going to look so lifelike in every way. It's going to show all the little details. And if Tesla decides to move over from an FSD stack and bring it to the base Autopilot, 
this is going to change everything about how you perceive things around the car. Now, all in all, out of both of these, I'm really excited to see the Super app. This is probably going to be the first glimpse of what Tesla plans to do with the official app store. And this is the first glimpse of the X app, the all-in-one app that Tesla is probably going to launch to the rest of the world. North America is going to be getting something really incredible, having everything integrated into one display. This is what we have been asking for for many years now. And seeing that Grok has been added, this just brings more confidence that the X app is now going to be running it all. Now, of course, with all this, it leads to the bigger picture, and that is the full and true autonomous driving in the future. This means that you're going to be able to experience everything on display, every entertainment app. Everything is going to be built for you as a passenger to interact with a car without worrying about driving the car. So this super app the new graphics for navigation, all of this is going to eventually arrive in every single Tesla. I can't wait to see it all. I will continue to keep my eyes out for everything that comes up and update you as quickly as possible. So I would hope that you stick around and hit that subscribe and that bell notification if you haven't already done so. And follow me on X, the super app at hey John E. And over there, you guys will see things you wouldn't see over here. And you can chat with me anytime or respond as quickly as possible. Anyways, this should be for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. This is John once again. Peace out.